So it's been a year since the first release of the DDM web client, uh, and it's been it's been really good fun. Um, we've got customers who are starting to use it now, uh, so we're getting lots of feedback from them. One of the main things that we've realized is we're gonna to continue to revisit the user interface in terms of how we're laying things out, how clean we're making it, and making sure we're optimizing the use of space. You know, whether that's, whether you're working on a mobile phone or a tablet or a desktop screen, we really need to get that sweet. So the other thing that we've done, everybody's used to using apps and things on, on, on mobile devices. You know, we want it to work like an app. We want it to feel like an app and be as quick as an app but in a browser. So you get all of the benefits of an app, so it's really nice and fast. The login uh, you know, was taking far too long, and it's now almost instant. And as you're running all your queries and looking for information, it's really punchy. So you know, that's a, a continued focus for it, and, and will continue to be. So the ability to um, have read-write functions in the web client has always been part of the plan. Uh, and what we've done over uh, the last year um, is that we've given you the ability to create folder type items. We use folders for managing business processes, whether that's a customer order, uh, an NPD folder for new product development, or any of the uh, ISO uh, processes that we manage now in DDM, like non-conformance, corrective action, uh, change management, audits. You know, all of those processes are available out the box, but we want people to be able to trigger them from the mobile device or from a web browser, even if it's a desktop browser in a different department than engineering. Really useful, the ability to um, create these folders and send them into a workflow. So the workflow capabilities uh, go hand in hand with the folders. We use folders for managing business processes and the ability to define a workflow around your procedures to make sure that we're always doing the right things in the right order. Uh, you can trigger things in the DDM web, you can put them in a workflow, you can send them between steps in the workflow, you can change the ownership, etc. So really starting to get useful. So one of the key functional areas that we've introduced into the core DDM product in the last year is the project management capabilities um, we've introduced a, a number of attributes, uh, so the racy attributes, who is responsible, accountable, who needs consulting and who needs informing. Uh, we've got a start date, a due date and a callback date. We also have the RAG status attributes that at any level show us whether we are on schedule, on spec or on budget. Now in addition to this, we've introduced the ability to have folder actions so whether you're working on a customer order or a product development, whatever your business process is, we now have the ability to assign actions. Whether that's a requirement, a milestone, a task, there's a number of different uh, issues and opportunities. We can create these actions all through the web client or we can assign them to different users, we can allocate time to them, we can log time against them. So really starting to extend the read-write capabilities through the web client based on some of the new functionality within the core DDM product. So the new read-write capabilities of the, uh, the web client that we will continue to introduce, they use an office license. So if you do a, a read-write function such as uh, assigning uh, an action to a different user in a different department, or your pinning or unpinning actions and folders, what it will do is it will pick up a DDM office license for a minimum period of 15 minutes and then it will drop it in the background. So if you're doing lots of this, it will continue to extend that license um, grab. Okay, uh, but you know, as, you're, as you stop doing the read-write functions, that license will return to the pool of floating licenses. So the other read-write capability that we've added um, is the ability to upload documents. You know, on the basis that we can trigger a business process, we can create the folder, we can edit the folder attributes now. So the other read-write capability is we can go in and we can edit individual attributes 
uh, within the web client. It's really, really useful and we couldn't do it in the last uh, web client that we had. Um, but we now can upload documents. I might, you know, I might be out in the field, I might be on site and I might take a photograph of something that there's a problem with something. I might wanna, uh, you know, raise a change order and put that image straight into the change order. So I just upload the document. It doesn't matter what the format of the document is. It's the ability to upload documents through the web client straight into the actions and folders within the workflow process. So it's been a really exciting year. Um, you know, it's constantly challenging us. And, you know, one of the biggest challenges really is for us to be able to deliver a configurable solution where we are not deciding how people should work. Every business is subtly different. So the challenges are really interesting. There's some technical challenges along the way. I'm really impressed with what the team has done, really proud of the product, um, and, and it's gonna to continue to get better.